Hi everyone, Russell here from The Presenter, I hope you're well and just a very short video that I want to share with you all about the importance of visual communication in your presentations. We all know that visuals are really important and good visuals of course, but what are the actual reasons behind that? So I want to make you aware of how the brain works and give you some examples to think about and maybe you can share these with people in your own business so that they can all appreciate the importance that good visuals will bring to your presentations. So the very first example, something I use an awful lot, and I got this from one of the co-founders of Prezi, um, is an example that I use in my own training. Think about your kitchen at home, and think about three electrical appliances in that kitchen. Do that right now, shouldn't take too long, depending on the size of your kitchen, of course. But my guess is that you didn't just have a list of bullet points appear in your head. If you did, then you've maybe got something going on in your brain that you need to seek help for. Nobody will get a list of bullet points appear. What you will see in your head, in your mind's eye, let's call it that, will be an image of your kitchen and then you'll see those electrical appliances. Maybe they become brighter in color, Maybe uh, you zoom into them in some way or the rest of the kitchen fades away and those are the only things you see. However it happens, uh, it will happen for you visually. So we are visual beings. That's one example I always use. Second example, I want you to guess this movie. A young man lives a boring life and feels really unfulfilled. He meets an old wise man with a white beard the man tells him that he used to know his father and the old man offers to teach the young man. The young man becomes stronger and more confident and the old man tells the young man a horrible truth about his father. And then the young man goes on an incredible journey and becomes very powerful. Guess the movie. Now, I tested this recently with a really large audience and every single person said, that's easy, it's Star Wars. The person you're talking about is Luke Skywalker, the old man he met was Obi-Wan Kenobi, obviously his father is Darth Vader and so on. Actually, the movie I was talking about was Harry Potter. Exactly the same story plot, the same kind of characters, they're even holding these kind of magic wand things to ward off evil, which is a kind of a, a little bit strange similarity, uh, similarity. But exactly the same thing. Now, the reason you all thought Star Wars is because your brain was visually trying to piece together what I was telling it in really boring bullet points, and it was building its own visuals. So again, without visuals, the human brain will add its own. We are all wired to think visually. So one last thing just to mention, one last example. What's the best presentation you've ever seen? Was it a TED talk? Was it a presentation you've given yourself, if you wanna be that vain? Uh, was it a webinar or an online meeting that you attended? Think about that presentation now. Put yourself back in the audience how good was that presentation? Now I'm gonna ask you another question about that presentation. What was the best bullet point from it? If it was the best presentation you've ever seen, then the chances are there probably were no bullet points at all. It was a visual feast for the eyes uh, and that helped to engage you even more. But even if it did have bullet po points in there, you are not going to remember a single bullet point. Nobody ever says after a presentation, oh yeah, that, that really engaged me. Do you remember bullet 12 from slide 52? That was my favorite. Nobody ever says that. What they remember are the visuals and the visual story that the audience goes on. So what I'm really trying to get at here is visuals really do matter. The way that your brains translate visuals is also super, super interesting. So there's been a lot of studies done that have shown that the brain translates visual messages 60,000 times faster 
than if it was to read the same message as a paragraph of text. So lots and lots of studies have been done to show that and if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. It's the reason we have road signs, we don't drive down our motorways and have to read big paragraphs of text to know what's uh, coming up ahead of us. If we did, there'd be a lot more road collisions than there are today. So 60,000 times. Now something that's also really, really interesting is that according to our brains, there's no such thing as words or text or letters or sentences. Those are literally just a complex series of different visuals. And this is probably why we can read visual messages 60,000 times faster. So if you look at the words in this little caption here at the bottom, really all they're made up of is different horizontal lines, vertical lines, curves and so on. Those are all put together to make up what we see as letters, words, sentences, paragraphs and so on. But actually what our brains are doing is trying to piece them all together so that we can read and understand them. That's what reading is. It's the piecing together of hundreds and thousands of tiny little visuals to make letters that form words, that form sentences and so on. So that's why when we ask our audience to do that in a presentation by adding lots of bullet points and lots of text, they will do it much, much slower and sometimes they will not do it at all because there's too much to focus on. But they'll do it much, much slower than a good visual that really hits home and explains your message in a visual way. So really what I'm trying to get at here is that we need to help our audience's brains understand the message. Uh, the objective of our presentation should be that we visually engage the audience and they can understand and remember and recall the information at least a few days or a few weeks ideally later uh, from the presentation itself. They have to be able to do that. So visuals matter. If you struggle trying to get really good visuals into your presentations, then please reach out to me, russell at thepresenter.com, and I'm more than happy to give you, your colleagues, your entire business if need be, a free demonstration of just how easy it is to find good visuals without spending the earth uh, budget-wise and to get those visuals into your presentations so that you have a bigger impact with your messaging. So please reach out to me if this is a sticking point, if it's a difficulty for you and your teams. I would love to hear from you. Thanks very much and take care.